Alien life that we have been searching for throughout the universe might actually be closer than we have ever imagined. I'm not talking about the unidentified flying objects or the secrets of Area 51. I'm talking about the presence of extraterrestrial life in our own solar system. And the craziest part is that it's not present on the surface of Mars or the clouds of Venus. It's a place that we do not talk about enough the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These moons have their own oceans, atmospheres and even the right conditions for a type of alien life that we can only imagine. Today we are going to talk about three such moons and the third one will blow your mind. It's not a clickbait. It's starting with Europa. Europa is one of Jupiter's largest moons. If you look at Europa's surface, the entire surface is covered in ice with huge cracks and ridges. So as Europa revolves around Jupiter once every three and a half days, it stretches and contracts due to Jupiter's gravitational force. This process not only creates those cracks and ridges on Europa, but also heats up the entire moon. Astronomers are confident that beneath this icy surface, Europa is hiding a huge ocean that contains twice as much water as Earth's oceans. With hydrothermal vents similar to Earth constantly pumping heat and nutrients into its ocean, so it might be just a matter of time before we find the microbial alien life in the oceans of Europa. Next we have Enceladus, a tiny moon of Saturn. Just like Europa, Enceladus also has a subsurface ocean. But there is a difference. Unlike Europa, Enceladus is actively shooting its water out into space. When astronomers studied those water plumes, they found organic compounds, traces of molecular hydrogen bursting from beneath the icy surface, which could be a source of energy for microbial life hiding beneath its icy surface. Finally, let's talk about Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Titan is more like Earth, but it is different. Let me explain. Titan is the only moon in our solar system with a thick atmosphere. It is also the only place other than Earth where we have found liquid on the surface. Astronomers have found lakes, rivers and seas on the surface of Titan. But here's the difference. Instead of water, Titan's lakes, rivers and seas are filled with liquid methane and ethane. The seas in some places are hundreds of kilometers wide. Its atmosphere is rich in nitrogen and its surface features vast dunes, lakes and rivers. On Earth, we have found life in some of the most inhospitable places like the deep sea vents, acidic lakes and even the radioactive waste. If life can adapt to such horrible conditions here on Earth, then it can certainly adapt the toxic environment of Titan. But since the chemistry of Titan is different from Earth, it is also possible that Titan hosts a completely new form of life. One that breathes hydrogen instead of oxygen or that uses methane and ethane in their metabolic process. A type of life that we can only imagine. I hope you learned something new today. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.